Okay, in this video I wanted to show you guys how to find a critical value for a t distribution uh, just in case your calculator doesn't have the inverse t function. So in this problem we're asked to find either the critical value for a z distribution or a t distribution or state that neither the normal nor the t distribution applies. So the problem gives us a confidence level of 98 percent n is equal to 25, sigma is unknown, and the last part is population appears to be normally distributed. So this last part indicates that we are able to find the critical value. So to find the critical value, we have to figure out what alpha is. And alpha is obtained by subtracting one from um, the percentage, the confidence level. So one subtract uh, 0.98 confidence level is equal to 0 0.02, so that's what alpha is. And the critical value for the t-distribution, if you use a table, you don't need alpha over 2, you just need alpha. So alpha is the area in two tells. So that's what alpha is um, given a normal distribution, or a t-distribution, I'm sorry. So let's see, the we also need the degree of freedom. So if you remember, degree of freedom is equal to n minus 1. And if we look here, n is equal to 25, so that's 25 minus 1, that's 24. So the row we're looking at is this row right here. And alpha is equal to 0 0.02, so that is this column. So this row and this column gives us a critical value of 2.492. All right, so that's t alpha over 2, 2.492, so I'm going to check that check my answer and that's it so on the test if you don't have a calculator I will provide you with a table um, so it shouldn't be a problem so let me know if you have any questions